Hello viewers, this is Rock Daryl now taking you through this tutorial for A Level Math. And this tutorial, we're going to talk about the solutions for your NEB of A Level Math Paper 1 for the year 2019, and particularly questions 12 to 14. So these are the very questions I left in the previous video, and I believe by now you have already tried them out and ready to check your progress so we shall start with question 12 question 12 says given that y is equal to natural log of the whole of this show that dy dx is equal to x squared minus 1 over x squared minus 4 So first of all, we are going to first split it because expanding this will be from the, this and this is the product. So it will be lean of each power x plus plus lean of x minus 2 raised to the power 3 over 4 minus lean of x plus 2 raised to the power 3 over 4. But that power can become a coefficient. So that is why we put here now three, lean of e to power x plus 3 over 4 lean x minus 2 minus 3 over 4 lean x plus 2. So now we have split the lean. And next we can share simplify further because lean E is equal to cancels to become 1. So you remain with only this which comes down to become x. So in the end we shall have, we shall have our y being equal to x plus 3 over 4 lean x minus 2 minus 3 over 4 lean x plus 2. So when I differentiate, differentiate x, when I differentiate x, I'll come up with 1. Differentiate the whole of this. This is a constant, so it remains outside. Then differentiate lean x minus 2, I'll come up with 1 over x minus 2. This is a constant, remains there. And differentiate lean x plus 2, we'll come up with 1 over x plus 2. When I get the LCM, I'll come up with this. And when I sim open brackets, I'll come up with that. And when I simplify, I'll come up with this. And when I simplify further, this one, this four can cancel to come up with the required expression. So basically, that's what they wanted. And now let's see how much can be awarded. So M1 will be for expanding to come up with this. Then this one will be for the derivative differentiating. This one is for get combining everything using getting the LCM. This one is for simplifying and this one for the output. So basically that's how the five mass could come about in part A. So now we shall go to part B. Part B says that Evaluate the integral from 0 to 4 of dx over x squared multiplied by the square root of 25 minus x squared. And I give it 7 max. So what we shall do, we shall let x squared to be equal to 25 sine squared u. Now the 25 is, this 25 comes from here because this is 25. Then we shall, so we shall say that x squared will be equal to 25 sine squared u that is sine substitution when i put the l squared on both sides i'll come up with x being equal to 5 sine u when i differentiate i'll come up with dx being equal to 5 cos u du and when I, after that i have to change the limits the limits were from 0 to 4 but these limits were for x so i have to change and, and get the corresponding value of u so when x is 0, come and put 0 here, you will come up with 0 being equal to 5 sine u, and therefore sine u will be equal to 0, and u will be equal to x sine 0, which is 0. Similarly, when x is equal to 4, it will now become 4 being equal to 5 sine u. When I make sine u, the subject will come up with sine u being equal to 0 0.8, therefore u is equal to x sine 0 0.8. So I have to substitute by changing the variables. I think realize that here, 
where there is x squared I'm going to put there 25 sine squared u which is this and where there is x squared also is 25 sine squared u where there is dx I'm going to put there 5 cos d cos u du which is that and the limits have also changed where there was 0 this 0 has been replaced by this 0 and this 4 has been replaced by this x sine 0 0.8 so next will be to simplify. Now when I simplify, I realize that 25 minus 25 sine squared u is the same as 25 in brackets 1 minus sine squared u which is equal to 25 cos squared u. But there is a square root meaning that it becomes 5 cos u which is here. And when you realize now this 5 costs you and this 5 costs you can cancel so either remain with du over 25 sine squared u. But remember sine 1 over sine squared u is cosec squared u. Therefore you will come up with cosec squared u over 25. So when I integrate with respect to u I will come up with integrating cos squared u will come up with negative cot u and this 25 is this 25 so when I substitute the limits the f begin with the upper limit to come up with negative cot x sine 0 0.8 minus when I su then you substitute the lower limit to come up with because cot 0 is 0 that's why you see here minus 0 now when I use a calculator I'll come up with my answer as negative 3 over 1 Hundred and basically, that's what they wanted in this part. Now let's see how much can be awarded. So the first mark is for you to differentiate to get dx. Then the second mark is for you to change the limits by using that table. Third mark is for substitution. This one is for simplifying and this one is for integrating and this one is for substituting here the limits and this one is for the output so basically that's how the seven marks could come about and now we shall go to question 13 question 13 says points four points have coordinates a a b c d where a is this 347 B is 1392 C is 123 and D is 10 K 6 then they tell us that the lines a B and C D intersect at P determine the vector equations of lines a B and C D So for line AB, we shall come and say that AB is equal to OB minus OA and OB is this. In, so the coordinates of B in vector form, B was 13, 9, 2. So in vector form, it will be 13, 9, 2 as you see it. Similarly to OA, A was 3, 4, 7. So in vector form, it will be 3, 4, 7. So when I substitute, subtract, I come up with 10, 5, negative 2. So this is AB. Therefore, remember that the equation of a line is given by R1 being equal to OA plus lambda AB. So I have to come and substitute to get the vector equation for line AB. Then for CD, I'll still do the same. I have to first get CD from OD minus OC to come up with 9, then K minus 2 and 3. After that, I'll also come and say, therefore, the line will be equal to OC plus mu CD. So OC is that and CD is that. So basically those are the two lines of AB and CD. So now let's see how mass can be awarded for such. So M1 and B1 is for getting the vector equation of AB. And this one. So this one is for AB. One M1 is for subtraction and A B1 is for this output and A1 is for you to get that equation. 
the m1 is still for the subtraction and this one for this one b1 is for the output and this a1 is for the whole of this equation so basically that's how the six mass could come about in that part okay so now let's go to the next part Part B says so that find the value of K. So remember they told us that AB and CD intersect. Therefore, at the in point of intersection, the two lines are equal. Therefore, we shall come and say R1 being equal to R2. And from the equality of vectors, I'll realize that 3 plus lambda 10K plus 10 lambda K. 10 lambda will be equal to 1 plus 9 mu which is that implying that 10 lambda minus 9 mu is equal to negative 2 that is equation 1 then for the next line we shall realize that 4 plus 5 lambda which is this is equal to 2 plus mu in brackets k minus 2 and when I rearrange I come up with equation 2 then for the next line for the K components I'll come up with that equation 3 therefore my aim is to get the value of K so I have to solve this equation simultaneously to get the value of K so equation 1 minus 2 times equation 3 will give me 15 mu negative 15 mu equal to negative 10 there are 4 mu is equal to 2 over 3 now from equation 2 which is this you realize that when I substitute for mu I'll be able to get the value of k so I'll, my aim is to make k the subject and when I make k the subject I'll come up with my k as 8 so basically that's what they wanted in this part now let's see how mass can be awarded So all these three equations you'll be able to get yourself one mark and B1 for getting the value of mu. Then another this one is for substitution and B1 for the value of K. So basically that's how the formulas could be got in this part. So now we shall go to the next part and they say find the coordinates of P. So at point P, mu is equal to 2 over 3. So I come and substitute for mu here to come up with OP being equal to that. And when I simplify, it will come up with 7, 6, 5. But remember they wanted coordinates, so you express in coordinate form to come up with P, 7, 6, 5. So basically that's what they wanted and let's see how max can be awarded. So M1 is for the vector equation, vector OP, and this A1 is for you to express in coordinate form. So basically that's how the two masks will be got in this part. Now we shall go to question 14. Question 14 says, expand square root of 1 plus 2x over 1 minus x up to the term in x squared. Hence, find the value of square root of 1.04 over 0 0.98 to four significant figures. So, first of all, you have to remember the rule for expansion that if I want have 1 plus a x power n will be equal to 1 plus a in brackets a x plus then a the where n is the power so n multiplied by n minus 1 which is the power reduced by 1 multiplied by the whole of this with the power increased to 2 here the power was 1 here the power is 2 and when the power is 2 here the denominator will also be 2 factorial so I'm applies to this when the power is 3 the denominator will be 3 factorial I think I'll see that you this value has again the power has again reduced by 1 to come up with n min times n minus 1 times n minus 2 sub and so on so basically that's the concept behind binomial expansion so when we come back to what is given we shall split it and say that the whole of this is equal to 
1 plus 2x raised to the power half multiplied by 1 minus x raised to the power negative a half. So we are going to deal with first deal with each independently, then we multiply the two. So first of all, 1 plus 2x raised to the power half will be equal to, first of all, write 1, then multiply plus the power which is a half multiplied by this which is 2x plus then the power which is a half the power which is a half to come here multiplied by the power reduced by 1 so half minus 1 will give you negative half which is that then now write this one with the power increase to 2 now the this which is that the power is 2 and because the power is 2 we shall divide by the two by 2 factorial but remember they told us that we expand up x squared so we have to stop there now when I simplify I'll come up with 1 plus x minus a half x squared so that is the expansion for this now shall go the expansion for that now we are going to follow the same procedure 1 which is here plus the power which is negative a half which is this then multiply by the whole of this which is this then we shall say plus the power again which is this negative a half multiplied by this minus 1 so negative a half minus 1 is equal to negative 3 over 2 then multiply by the whole of this by the power increased to 2 I think you can see it is here and the power has been increased to 2 now because the power is 2 here we shall put 2 factorial and when we simplify we shall come up with that so we have expanded this and this now next will be to multiply the 2 but before we multiply the 2 let's first see how much can be awarded in this part so m1 for this and b1 is for simplifying m1 for this and b1 is for simplifying so those are the four marks So now we are going to multiply the 2. Remember previously we saw that this is equal to this and this is equal to this. So when I multiply the 2, I come up with this. And when I expand the open brackets, I'll come up with that. Simplify further, I'll come up with this. So basically this is the expansion for what was given. Now we shall go to the hence part. Hence part says that if I find the value of 1.04 over 0.9. 8 so when you realize through this compare this with this you realize that x will be equal to 0 0.02 so that means that I'm going to substitute 0 0.02 here and when I use a calculator I'll come up with that but remember they told us that they want the answer to four significant figures so you round off to four significant figures and get that's so basically that's what they wanted and now let's see how much can be awarded so m1 is for multiplying the two then here the first m1 is for this bracket expansion multiplying this with the whole of this the next m1 is for this multiplying this with the whole of this and this m1 is for this whereby you multiply this with the whole of that then b1 is for the simplifying to get the final output b1 this b1 is for getting the value of x m1 is for substituting the value of x and this a1 is for the final answer with the correct significant figures so basically that's how the remaining mass could be got so i believe you have marked yourself and checked your progress so what i'm going to do i'm going to leave you with two other questions for you to try out
that brings us to the end of this lesson thank you for watching and be reminded that the solutions will be available in the next video so if you have not yet subscribed please click on the subscribe button below this video so that you can receive updates when the video with the solution has been uploaded otherwise if you know of any student who is not here on this platform please share the link of this video with them via social media platforms like facebook and whatsapp so that we all benefit as a family